with, with the business going on about the so-called Washington Redskins, I'd like to share this. This is entitled Signs of the Tribes. I did this some years ago. But now that it's back in the news, anything I can do to try to help uh, get rid of that nonsense because uh, it, it, it bugs me that you have Africans, and again, I'm talking about people of African heritage, who are like on ESPN and other sports things, who speak so ca in such a cavalier fashion about Washington Redskins. You have football players, and my question is this, if you're a football player and you look like me, how can you be so comfortable playing for a team called the Washington Redskins? Or if you're an, another athlete playing for the Cleveland Indians and you got people doing a tomahawk chop and all that kind of stuff. What if it were the Cleveland Coons or the Baltimore Darkies? Would you be so cavalier about this? So anyway, this, this is called Signs of the Tribes. Smiling engines showing pearly whites looking shifty and wide-eyed caricature. With a single feather sticking up from the back of his head, a band holding it in place, he stuck to the plastic cap of a boy of summer playing hit the ball and run the bases before a sea of mostly pale faces and arms moving up and down in a tommyhawk choppy motion to the helter skelter rhythm of balls and strikes, runs, outs, and errors, but an error is a mistake. The trail of tears and wounded knee were not events that the children of Plymouth Rock and Valley Forge did not mean to do. They meant it and weren't sorry for even as long as it takes to blink an eye or steal first, second, or third, they stole home. Called this pilgrim's progress, pioneer spirit. Taming the frontier and other turns of phrases to cover the trail of murders and thefts they lay on the road to today where the logos and mascots of their fun and games mock the people they considered fair prey. Or the land of the free and Atlanta's the home of the braves, but they and Cleveland Indians and Washington Redskins cannot speak for themselves because decals and mascots can't talk and Leonard Peltier like me can't run free but must walk pacing back and forth in a cage of history repeating itself and I being foreign to this place could ignore these signs of the tribes, but for the thought in my head that little black sambos turned red. <laughs>